Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm back with another kayak walkthrough for you guys. And today, we got the New Canoe U10. And this is a slightly smaller variant with a few upgrades to the very popular Unlimited that they've had a lot of success with over the last few years. So the specs on this one are gonna be 10 feet, 10 inches long, 41 inches wide, and the whole weight's gonna be 72 pounds. You're still gonna get a lot of those features from the original Unlimited, the 360 swiveling seats, the rail systems all over the place. But I'll bring you guys in, show you a couple of the changes for this boat and some of the modifications they've done. And then I'll throw up some pictures for front mounted motors, rear mounted motors, and all the goodies you can expect to do on this platform. All right, folks, let's dive into it. So you're gonna see a lot of the similarities from the regular Unlimited brought into this U10, but there are some upgrades and I think they're really, really nice. So up front, you're still gonna have your electronic pass-through plate here. You're still gonna have the same triangle style handle system, but you can remove these here and then put the motor mount plate and do a direct on motor guide uh, or a Minn Kota motor up on the front of the nose. We're gonna have a pair of rails here and then we have another set of rails on the outside. We're gonna have a 12 inch rail here in the center. This is gonna be your transducer scupper here. We're also gonna then have another set of electronic panels here. And then we get to the big 64 inch rails on both sides for your seat system. And this has the upgraded for all the new 2024 newer, the new speed knobs, which are awesome. And this allows the rail system for the seat to slide anywhere you want for distribution of weight. So it's a great, great system. We really, really like what New Canoe's done. But you can see you got 64 inches of room that you can move your seat for trimming. If you want to hunt, you can remove it and lay down in here. All kinds of wonderful things. Got some deck mat here. And then right here, we're going to have, this is a new feature. These are for 26 inch catch boards to lay them down right here with a little dead mat if you're a tournament fisherman. And then these will be the 32 inch boards across here. So pretty nice little upgrade there. As we come to back here on the hips, this is one of the other new features. This right here is the new canoe, and this is going to be the rod storage trunk area here with a holster holder here. And I'll put some rods in there here shortly and show you exactly how that works. And how that's gonna go is the rod's gonna, you can lay one on each side, and they've also incorporated these little notches, three of them on each side. And then they're gonna go right on back. So you're gonna have a rod there and there. One other thing they've done is in the dead center, you can put a rod or two rods right here, lay them right in those little notches, and then you can come up and use any of these here on the noses as well. The seat is still the 360 solo seat, which New Canoe is known for, been using for a really, really long time. It's a great, great system. You're gonna have another set of rails here on your hips. Flush mounts here in the rear. A little bit of de a deck mat here, so if you're running a milk crate, it'll soften that here. And then you're also gonna have a hatch lid here to give you access into the hole. If you wanna run electronics, you can get to the wires and everything like that. Your handle here, scupper plugs on the back right hand corner. And then another pair of rail systems here that you can buy a plate system on and then do a rear mounted motor on as well. If you're wondering what this is for, New Canoe does make a wheel that goes directly in here and then drops down a little wheel kit that you can buy, and that's what that is for. Okay, I'm gonna put some gear on here, specifically gonna show you how the new rod holders work. I'll probably put a gear pot on it as well and just give you a little bit more of an idea for what you can build a platform out for. Also then I'll probably throw some pictures up of a front mounted motor and a rear mounted motor so you can get uh, the full gambit of what you can expect to build out of a new canoe platform. Okay, in this configuration, I added the gear pod system up front. This is gonna have a nice big hatch system in here for storing gear. And then it also adds another rail right up front here. And then this is how the stagers are gonna operate. You can see you got one on each side. And then the rod holders, the holsters here, and then these butt end rods here are adjustable depending on how fat of a butt you have. You can just use your thumb and you can move it forward and back 
as well, depending on where you need it. So how these work, this is an eight foot swim bait rod, and this is an eight foot fly rod. And as you can see, all these work flawlessly in the setup. Your bait casters, your spin casts, any size will work like a dream. And so when you want it to use it, you just pull it out, and out it comes. Lay the reel inside the holster area here, and then push the butt of the rod back down in there. And then it goes right back in your slot there. And you can tighten these back down if you need be. And on this side, like I said, I got the fly rod in here and I've just laid it down here in the holster and it's right up front here utilizing these guides really, really well. And so this just kind of sits in there, has a little bit of noise. I'd probably put a little padding in there. But uh, yeah, a couple fly rods, one on each side, keep them really nice and low. Also, the handles also are your paddle holders, kind of like a taco clip style. So your paddle can come right on out. When it comes to the catch board stuff, if you're going to be running a long board, it'll go right over the top of these rods. Otherwise, you can just pull these an inch or so to the side, lay it across like so. Measure your fish, take your photo for all the attorney guys, take this, put it back behind you. So that's kind of the setup of this. I'll throw up some photos right now showing you a picture of what it's going to look like with a front mounted motor and what it's going to look like with a rear mount motor. But yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. Super excited for this boat. Uh, I'm gonna definitely put both motors on it and test it out in that variety. And then I'll paddle it just traditionally day one, take it down some rivers, and do some drift fishing, and just see everything it can handle. But love the new canoe setup. Super excited for this platform. Like I said, if you got questions, leave them in the comment section. Appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me. Catch you guys in the next one.